Hey, this is Tide Pool Tim, and we are in a tide pool. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little quick lesson here on different types of uh, uh, mollusks or snails. And what I've done is I flipped over a few rocks, and I'll give you a quick look at some common uh, snails we have here on the coast of Maine. So uh, when you go tide pooling, and it doesn't have to be a physical pool, it can be uh, any low tide mark. And a tide pool can just be a wet spot under a rock, as far as I'm concerned. When you flip over stones, you look at the undersides of them and what's living in or attached to or crawling under or down. Sometimes there's just a little wet spot underneath the rock. And remember, when the tide goes out, these uh, aquatic invertebrates, animals, plants, they just need to hang out for a few hours and then the tide will come back in and then they'll be wet again. But let's get back to these snails now. There's three common types that you'll see on the coast of Maine. The first one is going to be called a periwinkle snail. And these are a, a common food. Um, escargot, if you've ever had escargot, and if you look at their shell, they have kind of a smooth, rounded shell. And the genus for the periwinkle is called uh, Litorina, L-I-T-T-O-R-I-N-A. So we'll, these snails here locally are harvested collectors, or wrinklers as we call them, go down the beach at low tide with their buckets, and we'll fill a pail with these periwinkle snails and bring them to the local dealer. And they get, I don't know, maybe 40 or $50 for a pail of periwinkle snails. Now the next wrinkle, if you will, is called the dog, dog winkle, dog wrinkle. Uh, the genus is, I don't know how you pronounce it, thighs, T-H-A-I-S. And if you look at this little snail, and it comes in different, different colors, some of them are striped but they come to a very marked point. You see the little point at the tip of the tip of the snail there, right there. And these guys tend to be kind of long and thin compared to the periwinkle. And I don't know if you notice these little egg cases here attached to the rock. These are literally the egg cases of the dogwinkle. So, in, and some of them you'll notice have little holes in the end of them. Those are uh, egg cases that are actually hatched out. And some of them, such as this one right there, hasn't quite hatched out yet. And so there, oftentimes when you flip over a stone, you'll see piles of these little, look like rice grains almost, attached to the underside of the rock. And as they develop, eventually the end uh, opens up and a little tiny snail emerges. So these are dog winkles, and I'll put a couple of those over here by the periwinkle. Okay, so you have periwinkle, dog winkle. And the third one I wanted to show you is actually these guys right here. These are wave whelks. And wave whelks get quite large. They get maybe as uh, the largest ones I've seen are larger than a chicken egg. And a wave whelk is called a wave whelk because the shell has these undulations or waves across the side of it. If you see those. The wave whelk. And the genus for that guy is Bucinum. B-U-C-C-I-N-U-M. So if we start um, at the left, we have the wave whelk, the dog winkle, or dog wrinkle as they call it locally, and then the peri periwinkle. And so those are three common snails that we have here on the coast of Maine. Mollusks, phylum mollusca, and then on this stone here, as we zoom out a little bit, you see a little bit of dull, some red seaweed. You see some more periwinkle eggs. There's a blue mussel shell. There's just so much life here. It could go on for days and days but one last thing before we go back is I wanted to show you other critters on the bottom of this rock. You have little baby horse mussels right here. Uh, you have some little bryozoans there. Here is a tiny little sea star. That's probably a slender sea star. And then these little orangey things are baby orange footed sea cucumbers. And they use, of course, their tube feet to suction cup themselves. Here's one to the side of the rock. And we'll just poke them and send them back into the water. And then oh, one last little thing you may be interested in here. Beautiful little slender sea star. Or it might be a mud star. I'm not certain. It's take a little bit of identification. So that's it for mollusk snails. Tide pool Tim on to a new adventure.